What's up guys, it's Danny. Back with another video. As you can see, I'm in reflection. Today, we are going to be repairing this HP touchscreen all-in-one. Uh, it's a couple years old, it's got Intel Pentium. I believe my customer said they got it from Walmart for like four or five hundred bucks. These are basically copies of the iMac. Uh, and if you don't believe me, let me show you. So this is HP's all-in-one, as I've already demonstrated. And they look very similar to an Apple iMac. This is an old 21 inch Apple iMac. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the resemblance pretty similar. So uh, what's wrong with this, you might ask? Well, it does boot. It takes forever to boot. Um, it has Windows 8 in it, which is horrible. So what we're going to do is this, because while it still works, the customer would rather just repair it than buy a new one. I kind of don't blame them um, because this can be saved. It, the touchscreen still works, it's still touchscreen. Obviously I can't demonstrate that at the moment. So what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna take out the hard drive, the spinning hard drive, and we're gonna install an SSD. And then we're gonna install Windows 10. And I think, in theory, that should be enough to get this running better. So I got right here a 480 gigabyte inland SSD from Micro Center. So that was 50 bucks. And I have a copy of Windows 10 on me that they've already purchased. So the total for this upgrade is about 150 bucks. This Windows 10 retail is 100 bucks. You can probably find it cheaper online. So this is going to be a relatively cheap upgrade and you know minus my labor cost which is not much for something like this but um yeah so this is basically a video if you're wanting to do this yourself on how to upgrade this to an ssd so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and open it up and to do that i need to lay it on its face so here we go okay so i put a towel down so i wouldn't damage the front just you know just a little bit of care goes a long way so what I'm gonna do now is I got my not a sponsor, but I have my iFixit kit. We've got two Phillips screws that we want to take out first, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So let's do just that. And I believe this is a one screw head, I'm pretty sure. So we'll see. Yep. Okay, these may not be removable past a certain part, which is not big, they just need to get it loose, honestly, and I think the stand will just come off from that. Yep, so that's cool. HP designs these to where these screws are not meant to come out of the stand, so that's very thoughtful of HP, actually. A company I don't normally think thinks of the customer whatsoever did for once, so that's nice. So, within this mount, you can't really see from there, but there's another, there's another Phillips screw drive or a screw in there. So we're just going to undo that as well. If you're wanting to know the model, it's a 22B013W. I will put that in the title and description and probably in the tags so people can find this video easier. So, because it just says HP OPP all in one on the front. That's all it says. So. This tool is designed to break before your device does. Very nice. I fix it. Very nice. Gives me confidence in the tool, knowing that it won't break the device, which is good because this is not my property. So there are clips along all the sides here. So what I'm doing is I'm slowly, but surely, moving the clips so I can get the back off. Once we get the back off, we can get into the computer.
All right, after about 30 minutes of prying, there it is. The freaking thing is open. Suck it, HP. Seriously. All right, let's have a look. All right, so this is the front of the computer. So this is the LCD touchscreen. We've got a bunch of ribbon cables. I do different things, but we don't care about any of that. There's the RAM. If you want to add more, it's got four gigs, I believe, in it right now, I think. Pretty sure it's four gigs. You can add another four right there in that slot. There you go. It was kind of not focusing. Anyway, <clears throat> so we've got all the basics of a computer. This is a really small motherboard, like insanely small. But, you know, you get what you pay for. So here is the hard drive, the bum hard drive that's slow. Probably going to die soon. It's three and a half. Um, the guy at Micro Center said, I wouldn't need a conversion kit because most of these come with two and a half drives. Well, he was very wrong on that. That's three and a half. And this box is smaller than the three and a half. This is a two and a half in there. So, not a big deal. I will still put it in anyway. It's still going to work. I'll try to mount it somehow. And uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and take out the stupid hard drive and put it in the SSD and we'll go from there. All right, so there's the new 480 gig SSD. Connected, no problem. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and mount this. I'm gonna do like a custom mount um, because the drive cage does not fit the SSD as I expected. And let's see if I have a converter kit. I may have one laying around. If not, I have no solution. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna close it up and we will get Windows 10 installed on this computer and go from there. So here we go. Okay, and so now all I need to do is gently press all this back into place and you can hear it snapping I think we are good all right one more let me just go around it one more time it's okay to probably a little it's okay to apply just a little bit of pressure not too much but just a little bit to make sure everything is snappy so everything appears to be snapped into place that's actually relatively easy to open get right to the iMac which I will be doing next so now oh before I do this, I need to put the original screw back in the stand. All right, now we put on the stand. Make sure it's facing the right way. That way. Snaps right like that. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on its stand and we're gonna install Windows 10. Okay, moment of truth. Everything's plugged in. We'll see what happens. So, turn it on. Got power. It's always a good sign. Okay. So that's fine. So we're gonna go to, and I'm not gonna show the whole process because you've seen this more than once on one of more more than one of my videos. So just if I can just aim. There we go. Okay, so it is now booting from the disk. So we're gonna select next, install now. And I think it's gonna give me the option to format the SSD, which is what we wanna do. I still have touchscreen capabilities, look at that. Look at that. Very nice. All right, I agree. Next, let's see. Install Windows only. What we want to do is we want to hit new, apply. Okay. All right, so here we go. We've got the recovery partition, system partition, and MSR partition. That's normal. So drive zero partition four is for everything else. So we're going to hit next. 
Let's go to this door with us. I love the fact that I can use a touch screen right as I'm installing Windows. I think that's great. I don't know if that's HP or Windows or what, but whatever it caused that to work right off the bat without me doing anything, amazing. I'm actually pretty surprised and impressed. Okay. It currently wants me to create account buttons. Let's skip that. I don't want to. Did you click create account? There's a way to run this. Let's get an account going for you. No. You not. can use your own email address, or we can help you create a new one. No. I don't want to create an account. Type your email address or phone number. No. Then follow the instructions to sign in. No. Oh, I'll find an account. You once right that's there. Done. Jeez. They want to hide it because they want you to. Yeah, no. You're... They want Type you. you want to name your account. They want you, if she wouldn't, if she'll stop interrupting me every time I try to talk, they want you to create an online account so they can sell you a bunch of ads and stuff. And this is not even my computer, so we're not going to be doing all that. Okay, now type a password for your account. No. Hey, look, it's the me part of setup. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? No. These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them, and select Accept when you're ready. Don't tread on me, Microsoft, or my customers. I turn off all that stuff because it's okay, just Okay, that's the last step. Stupid, you know. We need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. I remember when Windows 10, when it first came out, it didn't talk to you like this. It just did this. This is all it ever did before. But now, they've updated it to the point where it's like blah, 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 blah. So. All to sell you more ads. And there you go. We are at the desktop of Windows 10. Fairly easy to install. In fact, the hardest thing in this whole process was taking the freaking plastic cover off the back. That took like almost 30 minutes of me prying against those tabs. You just have to be careful. I cannot recommend the iFixit kit more enough. And they did not sponsor this video. This is all just me talking. This is what I used to repair computers with. These two tools are how I got this computer open. These two tools, as well as that. Well, just screwdriver. So, but the iFixit kit, I found it 19 bucks at Micro Center. You can probably find it online for the same price or close to that. And they have different kind of kits, but this is just a simple get stuff done kit there's one i want to get that's like 60 bucks maybe someday but uh yeah so that's it that's there you go there are other videos on youtube that are kind of like this but i feel like mine's probably the most in depth uh in terms of doing the whole process on camera so anyway with that being said if you like this video please leave a like below uh feel free to share it with whoever you know and um yeah um if you like me you know if you like what i do if you want to support me you can hit subscribe i appreciate it and uh, this, this is a pretty fun process. You know, this is my first all-in-one I've had to repair. And uh, I'm sure it'll be far from my last. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.